described somewhere along the line of the Mark Connoisseur, and I'm not terribly sure where that came from. Apparently, Cormac would be with that. He'd asked for a description, um, or some reference to myself anyway, and I was going to send him a, a little note to have myself described as a, a recovering art collector. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know whether that would refer to uh, the recovery in the, in the whole uh, painting and art world, or whether I'm recovering uh, from the whole, what seems like an addiction of collecting paintings. I had the great pleasure of opening uh, the only other exhibition I've ever opened for Cormac, I think it was in 2005, in the hall of that, uh, for Mary Tui. And that was a wonderful experience, and I met your mum at that. And uh, I bought several paintings of that, and uh, have one of them in my office, which is an absolute private place. Um, on, on the wonderful website for the gallery, uh, the, the reference to it, it's much better to travel in hope than to arrive, mm -hmm. always coming home. And I think that when I met uh, Cormac all those years ago, it was around the time that I, I bought a house in France. And I was amazed over the years, talking to Mary uh, and to yourself, that you'd never been to the south of France. And I bought this house just at the very peak of the market in, in November 2006, with the plan of retiring down there and having millions in the bank. And uh, I have the house, but unfortunately the millions in the bank have not been the So I got this uh, idea that um, Cormac would benefit from uh, a few days down in, in, in the house. And he was, he was the first one first artist that has come down there, and it is truly a magical old house, but it came alive when the corner came down. And we, the pleasure for me was to have him in the house, and also to visit some of the, the, uh, the local places, uh, famous, of course, for uh, the artists down there. And probably the, the one that I enjoyed visiting most of all was Cezanne's studio. And Cormac has this habit of just you know, sauntering along, but it's only when I come back now I realise exactly how much he took in. So we went to St. Anne's studio, uh, very close to my house, you have Bonnard's wonderful museum, which is an incredible place, it's just outside Cannes, in a, a small suburb called Cannes. We went there, we went to the Mike Foundation, which is in St. Paul de Vence. Uh, we went then up to Paddy McKinnon's incredible place up near uh, Axel de Vance. If you ever have the opportunity to go down there, it's an absolutely magical place. Uh, and he has developed a small hotel there, has a lovely um, gallery there and a small restaurant, but he also has these art trails, uh, which is, is absolutely fantastic. So what do I like about Cormac's work? I think when, when I came into this gallery, I was, I was walking around, and then I spotted some of Cormac's work. I didn't realize that the gallery was selling his work. And that's what I like about Cormac's work. It's, it's very recognizable. I have a good few of his pictures, and as I say, I have one in my office. And what I really enjoy about the work is the, the bold color, and the form, and it just I have, feel this emotional connection with them. And the one that I've decided to go for at this exhibition is this lovely one, which in a way <coughs> reminds me of the house down in France, and as Cormac kind of uh, put it nicely with, with a bit of Ireland out the window. So, <laughs> it's a nice combination. Um, so I hope very much that Cormac will come down to me again. Uh, the invitation is there for him to have a week in the house. I have a few other artists that are going to come down. Uh, a friend of mine is Bob Quinn who does sculpture and he's going to come down. Um, and just to see Cormac's work developing the way it has uh, I think is wonderful. If I had one suggestion for Cormac, it would be to work on a much bigger scale. I would love to see you doing, you know, three meters square or something like that. Would be great. <laughs> it gives me great delight to formally open the exhibition, and in doing so, I would really enjoy hearing a few words from Cormac himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, was, I, was, I was once warned that um, artists shouldn't speak, shouldn't speak generally, but they shouldn't speak in their exhibitions in particular, um, because uh, it's usually not a great idea. But I, I, I've, written a, I've written a small play, uh, piece um, for the catalogue, um, this catalogue we got printed up, um, just to explain the, the idea of a wayland or an imaginary place. Um, that, uh, that, that I kind of journeyed into on this exhibition and uh, partly linked with, with the residency in, in, in the south of France 
Um, and I suppose the idea was to journey into imaginative places. I mean, a lot of these places aren't actually, um, you know, they're based on my reimagining of um, Suzanne's window or Von Arndt's, uh, the interior of Von Arndt's home, which I, I don't even know if it exists, but we were, we were, John was very generous with his time and his knowledge of the south of France, and he drove me around to these places. And for me, it was like, um, it was technically, you know, it was a pilgrimage to, to the, to, to actually go near these places where Matisse might have been, or, or I have another hero, um, uh, Nicholas de Stahl, who was um, just a beautiful artist. He did some amazing paintings down there. And to see that light, which was real, um, was a real joy, actually. And I think it entered into the exhibition. It's, it, it brought the, the paintings in a different direction, um, the, 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 you know, which I think is, um, is evident here. But I'll just explain. A Wayland, I'll just read a little bit about a Wayland. Um, it's an imaginative place lost in time. It's uh, another country or an era that I may have lived uh, through. Um, a sort of a past life experience, and it's a landscape that merges dream and memory. And um, I think that, you know the idea that, that uh, often when I'm painting, I'm looking at uh, art history as well, and that sort of creeps into the paintings. And um, so there's that suggestion of dream, memory, and um, the reality then of, of seeing places. And uh, again, I'd just like to thank John and. Um, Denise and Deirdre here for, for um, John for, for his kind words and Denise and Deirdre for the wonderful display of the work and hopefully you can all enjoy the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.